Yes, girl, I am back. Look, let me tell you, disclaimer. My whole intentions was to take a couple of weeks off just for recovery of the surgery, but I'm bored. One, two, my recovery, hold on. My surgery has been uneventful. And if you watch my breast reduction vlog, <clears throat> I've had previous surgeries before, including a C-section. I will go through 10 breast reductions compared to my C-section, and my C-section wasn't bad at all. But this was nothing, literally. Yeah, I've been intermittent fasting for two weeks. I'm down to 167, I started off at 175, yes. Um, intermittent fasting, six days out of the week and not really watching what I'm eating, but not really going overboard. I'm probably consuming about 1,200 calories a day, to be quite honest. And this is baby, JB's been doing good. Uh, JB, you wanna tell them about you starting summer camp? I started summer camp today, but- Not today, baby, it was, it was this week. It was this week, mm -hmm. but look how my area got Okay, wait, got wait. a lot more better. Oh, he's, yes, he's been cleaning up after himself. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> a little bit more like yeah. over here. <laughs> so look, I don't show what the hell's going on here. I don't show my figure a lot. So this is the dress I did the before and after. So no one would ever notice that I actually have a waist, but um, yes. Let me show you what's been going on. Look, yes, oh, you, girl. Yes. Look at that waist coming together. All right, so that's better, you guys. I'm learning with this camera. Mind you, I've had this camera for almost a year. Depending on where I'm at, I need to change the settings. My glasses are dirty. I need to change the settings. So since I'm outside, I change the setting to an outside. When you go inside, you change the setting. When you go inside when it's shadow, you change you're supposed to change the settings. And I haven't been, which is why certain clips look anyway, girl. Yeah. Can we go? Mm-mm. Oh, we are gonna go soon, but not in a hot air balloon. My mom in a hot air balloon? Mm -hmm. No, no, you you're too young, boo boo. You gotta be a little bit older, okay? Even then, your daddy's not to go with you. So, you guys, um, it's Friday. It really is Friday. And that's when I start, like, 90% of my vlogs on a Friday. It is going to be a very busy month. I start volunteering at my church. Amen. Um, I'm going to church this um, this Sunday. I hadn't been in the last two weeks, only because I was, I've been afraid to drive that far. It's not far, but I've been trying to stay within my community and not go out more than 10 miles or so so <clears throat> on a church Sunday and then volunteering the following week um what else is going on I signed up for a uh, we do a local a local group does, does brunches and so I made sure to sign up for a brunch this month I need to get out more more um maybe around other people instead of being up in this house with this child um JB did start summer school and I was a little bit nervous because it's with ages five to 10 or 12, but what they do is they take the older kids and go to a separate room, and then the little bitty kids stay in the gym, and there's there's three adults there, and they limit yeah. it to- and nine. Okay, baby. Um, And they limit the numbers to only 25 kids, which is good. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, so we gotta get um, butters, eggs, Let's go to the let's go to the donut aisle, okay? I need to get some vanilla. What is all that noise? Um, because I don't have any. And Kroger brand is okay. So y'all, Kroger is is the fries brand back on the uh, in the south and part of the Midwest too, actually. This way, baby. This is the clearance section. They ain't got Dad. nothing over here. What Dad, is this? Something. They've had this over here for three weeks it's now. Oh, no, no. That, that doesn't look like we're going to be able to get it. Uh, what is this? One ninety nine. dollars Yeah, we ain't going to get that, JB. Oh, my God. We are at In-N-Out. Um, I am a very picky eater to a certain point. I don't really care for the burgers here. I'll probably eat a burger here maybe twice a year and I already had one like a couple of weeks ago. And the, but they're fries, 
girl. Let me tell them something. And, and the um, the the shake machine she at McDonald's don't. Doesn't work. Of course, the shake machine at McDonald's is down, and JB had a little a little breakdown. So I'm like, it's okay, baby. We can go right over to um, In and Out, which is across the street, and get one. The reason why I go first of all, I don't eat McDonald's food. And, and let me back up. I'm not trying to be bougie or because I used to eat it growing up, and I've had it, of course, in my adult life in college and all that. But now when I eat that stuff, you guys, I can taste a flam. It's disgusting to me. Um, but if that, you know, I don't knock people who eat fast food because clearly I do. I'm an in and out, and I went to McDonald's. But this is why I go to McDonald's for their coffee. Now I have been on a no coffee, at least hot coffee in the morning. I replaced my hot coffee Put in your the morning. Story. Sorry. <laughs> I replace my hot coffee in the morning with tea, but at least once a week I allow myself to have a cold coffee. That was really hard to replace Drink my it. hot coffee. Okay. Let me tell you something. Oh, this is too sweet. This is a turtle macchiato. I told him not to make that this sweet. Let me mix it up some. Maybe that's what it is. Hold on, y'all. It's too sweet. If this is sweet, I'm not gonna drink it off. This is the new turtle macchiato. <clears throat> turtle macchiato? It's still too sweet. Kids be making this stuff. Oh no, it's okay at the top. So maybe that's what it is. I need to stir it up a lot more. Here, I'm gonna mix that up. Yeah, girl, no coffee in the morning. Oh my goodness. Going on three weeks now. I've done good. No, I mean, I've had no coffee. I haven't even like, yeah, but now since it's warmer, I've been craving like the cooler coffees, and I do allow myself, like I said, once a week. Here, to let have. me take your coffee. You can't have my coffee, child. You too. Hey, this is glass. Be very careful. This right here is cute, but I'm gonna show y'all what I really like in a minute. I'm gonna debate on whether or not I'm gonna get it. Is that a bunt pan? Sure is. I'm gonna go get a cart because I see something that I like. Blood. JB, be careful. Yeah, I like that strainer. This is, I have enough strainers. Okay. Oh, okay, look at this old fashioned cake. Oh, this reminds me of my grandmama. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go get a cart, okay? Cause there's something I see that I want. Oh, they have village stuff. <clears throat> Y'all, I need to work on my village. But not for $3.99, baby. What are these? Why is this $3.99? All this Christmas stuff is out. Oh, a black Santa. I'm here for the black Santa Claus. Hold up now. All right, y'all, so we are back from running a, just a bunch of useless errands, but I did pick up a couple of things from the Goodwill. I like this huge glass jar. I can use this for my water. This is about, I guess, could fit about four cups of water. This is great. I'm going to go ahead and wash this. And then I found these two very, very pretty fall looking um or fall inspired leaf serving platters aren't these cute i got two of them they were a little on the price side in my opinion $2.99 um these will be great for serving fruit cheeses crackers y'all i have tons of serve for stuff i just like to have stuff like this um in case i do decide to have someone over <laughs> y'all see i have had people over and i'm one of these years i'm gonna have a friend's giving is that what they call them yeah in my house um, I want to get a bigger, I don't know what this child is doing. I want to get a bigger dining room area to sit six feet, six people. So yeah, I think this is very, very cute. Very cute. Y'all, this is not going to be the official video because this child keeps talking. So I'm going to take a red belt velvet butt cake and pimp it up with some sour cream, some vanilla. I'm going to make a cream cheese frosting. I have my butter here in the mixer, excuse me, in the bowl. And this is going to be a bunt cake. So I didn't realize that this came with an icing package. I'm gonna see what this tastes like. To me, these icing packets, 
depending on the type of icing, the only icing that doesn't taste like chemicals to me is chocolate icing. I will probably mix this with the home homemade icing that I make, depending on what it tastes like. Okay, so I put one tablespoon yeah. of vanilla in here and half mm -hmm. a cup of sour cream. That sour cream will make it very um, moist. Now, I could tell because I've cooked a lot of cake mixes, girl, <laughs> <laughs> just by looking at this pouring it in it is about compared to like your duncan Hines cake mix Definitely it's not. about one and a half it's like using one and a half boxes <laughs> of that cake mix which, yeah that icing was disgusting it tastes like jelly so i got some cream cheese here two tablespoons of butter i'm gonna pour in one and a half cups of powdered sugar probably not even all that some vanilla like one tablespoon and once that gets going i'm going to do some heavy cream okay probably one fourth of a cup yes i cut into this this is where we're looking at 40 minutes later this is how moist it is Guys, it is Saturday. I have been drinking my water. Um, <laughs> you're so silly. Um, oh, my stomach kind of hurts. I need to do something because we're going out to eat today. We're going out. And JB's going to Kids Park. But my husband was like, so he can. I said, no. JB's going to Kids Park to play with some kids. You can lay on mommy, baby. It's okay. You want to look at zombies again? Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to our spot because I'm like, you know, we need some, some adult time. <laughs> Me, I definitely do. So the solar panel, um, we had someone to come out to give us a quote on the solar panel. I was asleep, baby, because I think I did a little too much yesterday. Um, I, we, we did it, ran a lot of errands, which really, for me. And I thought, and I was left in bed. Yeah, I left you in bed. Anyway, so I had to take a Percocet today, and that knocked me out. So I took a nap, and then JB. I thought, I, I thought you were still in bed, but I thought the pillow was you, but that's just a pillow. <laughs> so yeah, JB and I took a nap together, and while we were napping, my husband was speaking to a guy. He was quoting him on the solar panel. So we're going to get solar panels, which is a really, really good oh, idea. My dad is not a... A husband. Okay. Um, which is great if you live in a place that is always sunny, like Phoenix, Arizona. So um, he explained to me what the process is. And you get um, a credit for it, for tax refund. It's like a $12,000 credit and then another $1,000 credit with the state. Okay. So um, it's it's we're going to finance it. But it's, it's not that bad. It really isn't. So... Um, so put your hand down, baby. So, but it's, a, it's the cost of it is. Let me think of a of a car. Um, I don't know, two Corollas. <laughs> you do the math, girl. So yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of money, but that money gets added to the value of that house. Where when you live in a house, I don't know a lot of people want to be house owner or homeowners, but you have to keep your house up. And this house right now, it's going over 10, 10 years. It's 10 years old, over 10 years old, about 11 years old. So- No, it is 135 years old. I would love to live in a 135 year old house. Those houses are, anyway, he, look, he looks confused. Sit down and, and <laughs> okay. Um, we were just talking about things that we want to do around the house and definitely we're going to have the inside painted, um, yeah. which is going to be like at least $4,000, especially because we have, what? These, yeah. Oh, that's too expensive. Minimum 3,000, between three and 4,000. I know people want to do it yourself. Uh, let me show you something. This is our ceiling. Have you guys ever seen this? I've done a home tour. You see my, our ceilings? Yeah. Yeah, no. So we're gonna do that. Um, he was saying how he thinks the carpet needs to be redone. I'm like, okay, so we have carpets in the bedroom. And I told him the cabinets. The cabinets have to be redone. So I'm thinking of gel staining. And I've seen YouTube videos of it, but what I'm going to do is buy the products and then just pay someone. I don't, I don't wanna do that. 
you know just thinking ahead you guys and i still brought up about because look for some reason my mama has been talking about um she's like i so and so asked me about you moving back to texas girl <laughs> I said, huh, so I told my husband nonchalantly, I said, I don't know why, but the last conversations I've been having with my mama, she's been asking me about moving back to Texas, and he got quiet, so. Um, he was like, you know, um, and, I, and so I told, just to try to, you know, not really nag him about it, because I'm not trying to nag him about it. No, 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 no. He said, well, yeah, he said, and then the thing that you don't realize is that um, because there's so many schools in Dallas and so many, you know, uh, medical professions that it'll be really difficult to find someone willing to pay him as much money as he's making now. Now, my husband, for a while there, for about a year or two, he was a supervisor. So he was getting those supervisor coins, okay? And when he went, flipped over and just became a regular MT, my husband's a medical technologist, but he has 10 plus years in it. So when he became just a regular MT, he still carried that supervisor salary. So he's like, I don't think anyone's gonna pay me that much money. And I was like, don't, I wouldn't worry about that. So I, the fact that he kind of, you know, that's one of his concerns. I'm like, I, that's not a concern for mine, of mine. It really ain't, because our, our source of income, in our source of income comes from the Almighty. You know, not from any other job. So I, I don't worry about, I wouldn't worry about that. So yeah, Operation Move Back to Texas is, is going to be implemented in my, it's, right now it's in my head, it's in my head. And I'm not going to nag my husband about it, but I, and y'all heard me say this, my goal is to move back to Texas before this child gets into high school. If we can do middle school, even better. Middle school, high school, I want to move back. Can you get me some water, boo boo? Huh? Why don't you get water in here? JB, you gotta start drinking water. You gotta start listening to daddy. I'm just gonna pack some soup for pizza I'm in my guest bedroom, you guys. Oh, real quick, do you see this? Let me get out the way. Do you see this purple roll up? That is a seamless backdrop. Thank you so much, T, you guys. T is one of my subscribers who will be sending me gifts. Girl, I sent you a message. I don't know if you can, if you've gone through and seen the messages. My husband is like, who is this person sending you all this, these gifts? So I sent you a message via YouTube. Go through your YouTube channel um, and go through your messages and you should be able to see it. So um, she sent me this. Thank you so much. And a backdrop code holder. Everybody else is asleep still. My husband's still asleep. JB woke up at 530 and now he's sleeping on the couch. Um, oh, excuse me. I've been waking up for the last two days with my breast sore. And it's mostly when I've been doing quite a bit the day before. So, I literally, today I'm not doing anything. Today is Sunday. My intentions were to go to church, the 930 service. But I'm like, I'm not even going to do that. Because church is a long time, you guys. When we go to church, it's like two and a half hours that we are out. We're at church for like an hour and a half. Yeah, girl. Let me lay back some. So I woke up in the middle of the night with my breast extremely sore. I took half a Percocet. I'm just gonna relax today. I need to just relax for the entire week. Don't have a lot going on for this coming week. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take JB too. Cause JB, JB, even JB and I haven't done a lot because again, I don't wanna be, you know, 
doing too much and then end up like I'm at, I'm at, I'm at right now, the position I'm at right now to where I'm sore. Now it doesn't hurt, it's just soreness. It feels like I've done a really strenuous upper body workout, like a crazy chest workout. And yeah, I need to relax. So I'm gonna be taking JB to an indoor playground in a few more days, like on Friday. Um, and then I start volunteering at my church. Now, ironically, I'm, I'm going to be volunteering doing his his class. So the whole uh, get up, at least from when I did the um, volunteer meeting, is that they said you go to a service and then you volunteer. That may be a bit, bit much for me because if church is an hour and a half, that means I'm going to be at church for four hours. <laughs> So I'm okay with just going to church just to volunteer. I'm okay with that. And then the next weekend, excuse me, volunteer. And then the next week you go to church and then the next week volunteer. So that's how I'm going to do it because I don't have the energy. Plus JP's going to be with me. So yeah, he can't be up there for four hours. He was going to go crazy. If he was older, okay. Um, I know a lot of people do that. They go to church, they have their service, and then if they volunteer, they stay and they volunteer afterwards. So the good thing is that... The volunteering time is not to the second service, which starts at 11.30. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm not one of those type of people who feels like I have to absolutely go to church every weekend, um, every week. Because I know where I'm at with my um, relationship with Jesus Christ. And I know where I'm at, okay? Um, and I know what I need to do. <laughs> A lot of people beat themselves up over that. But, girl, not me. Not me. So, yeah, today we're just going to relax. I'm in my guest bedroom, y'all. I've tried my darnest to keep this guest bedroom together, but it ain't. I mean, I end up putting a bunch of stuff back here, but I'm going to have JB and I are going to run up here to fries because um, I need to get a couple of things that I know that I can get cheaper there instead of at, at Whole Foods. So, yeah, I think I may do that, y'all. Yeah, I think I may make that. It depends on my mood. I may switch it up. <clears throat> Oh my God, you scared me. Is that you, Puka? Oh, come here. Come here. I have a tape on. Go ahead and change then. <laughs> he scared the hell out of me. Real quick, y'all. I did purchase some bras and I found some bras that I like. I am a 38C, um, which is good. I may be 36C to be quite honest, but right now I'm a 38C. While we were shopping for bras, I hear someone say, mm, this, this smells good. JB, I turn around, his face is all in the bras. He is sniffing the bras. I'm going to put a picture down here so y'all can see it. Child, I was like, what are you doing? And it was so funny, it was a woman behind me. She said, they start early. I said, I guess so, girl. Sniffing bras. Look at him. Oh, sorry, y'all. I don't want to show him in his underwear. Look at, what, 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 why are you sniffing those bras, boo-boo? Come here. Because they smell good. <laughs> Because <laughs> they smell good. Bleeding eyes. No, it's not bleeding anymore, baby. Go look at it. It's swollen, though. So look, y'all, real quick. Last night, at the restaurant we went to, the restaurant we go to, we go to is a four or five star restaurant. It is really nice. We spend their minimum eighty dollars, and that's with happy hour specials too. So yeah, they're they're a little that pricey. Is yeah, it is swollen. You need to be careful. His lip is swollen. You want some ice on it? Okay, let me go help him, y'all. Come on, baby. So anyway, um, he only wants the oh, advice. My breast kind of hurt. So anyway, they also have this membership reward type thing that uh, if I you eat pie. there every uh, yes, JB, every fifty dollars that you spend, you get five dollars back. Long story short, girl, I gave her the card and I was like, we need to figure out what's going on because we've been coming up here I and know. I don't see anything. She told me, I went to the bathroom when I came back. My husband told me, he's like, you know how much money we had on there that we could use? I said, how much? He said, $75. I said, what? So she brought the uh, bill over, which was 80 something. $12 was how much we paid. He gave her like a $20 tip. I'm like, this, this heifer didn't deserve a $20 tip. But yeah, $30 for an $85 bill. Guys, look. Child, I don't want to see that. So praise him. Guys, I'm watching baby TV. Shout out to Kelowna Curls, y'all. Kelowna Curls is Tierra Van. She's a producer for NPR. I met her because a couple of years ago she ran a um a story no, she on. Did. Yes, she did. She ran a story on Naturals in the Valley, and that's how I met her. And then come to find out, she had a YouTube. Mm -hmm. a, actually, she was transitioning then. 
she didn't, you know, she mm -hmm. hadn't fully gone natural. She was thinking about it. It stopped slowly. Good, now go put it up then. But look, while we're in the car, and my husband, that's all he listens to is NPR. That should let you know how old he is. Um, so, I said, oh, this is Tiara. And he's like, oh, the mixed girl? I said, she is not mixed. She's mixed with black and black. He's like, uh, she needs to get a DNA test. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, wait a minute. This is someone who has had an Indian follow him around. <laughs> Now it's sink. Now it's leaky. Go put it up, baby. My husband a couple of years ago had an India, an Indian from <laughs> India, follow him around in the grocery store to ask him what tribe or what part of India he's from. He, I say, you don't even look black. You look Arabic. You look Indian. You like you from Pakistan. Are you gonna question my friend whether or not she's black? <laughs> Get out of here with that. All right, y'all, so I ended up doing salmon. Look, salmon is easy, quick, healthier than beef, so hey. I made a marinade sauce, sesame oil, olive oil, a bunch of ginger, so this is basically a ginger a soy sauce. Um, brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, chili paste. Oh, y'all, this hair, I have so much buildup. It's not even funny, um, but it is what it is. Wash day is tomorrow. Quiet as it kept, I don't feel like recording at all any videos. And I'm trying to think of if I have enough content scheduled. I think I do, so I'm not in a mood. I'll, I'll do the videos next week. You know, record two of the videos next week. Because this week, I don't feel like doing it. I just want to wash my hair and just relax, okay? So let me show y'all what I'm cooking here. Because um, it's going to be good, girl. So I have some peas here with some heavy cream I went ahead and put in there just because I'm lazy. Um, I have some orzo pasta on the stove. I'm going to be making a creamy orzo pasta with Parmesan. This child is screaming my name. Hold on, y'all. Um, can you get that water bottle? We need it. I don't. Lord. Mama this. Mama, mama. Mama, mama. Child. So, and I'm going to sit down and, and, and watch some Westworld or something. So, yeah, these peas are in some creams that I just poured out just to get rid of it. And um, I have some orzo pasta on the stove over here. Let me show you. Orzo pasta on the stove over here. And once this is done, which ain't going to take no time at all. Let me turn that down some, actually. Um, this is going to be a very quick dish. Done in like 15 minutes. I'm going to find my Parmesan cheese. Normally you would do like a lace topping, but we ain't got time for all that. Let me kind of make that one go across like that. Do one more like this. And here is my dessert I've been making. Girl, I just took it out the oven, which is why it's still bubbling. Yes, peach cobbler in a cast iron skillet. This is basically a combination of um, Curlin, um, Philly, Philly boy, and Chris cook for you. I took all three of their recipes and came up with this, putting it in a cast iron skillet. I will have a separate video on this particular recipe, y'all. It is going to be good. I can tell. I can tell just by looking at it, it's going to be good. So, yeah. This is my salmon that has been marinating for a while. That's going to take no time to cook. This is my orzo creamy pasta. This is my roasted potatoes, the greens, and... Once everybody's out the shower, they just got my husband and Jamie been swimming. So once everyone's out the shower, we're going to eat. No, that's enough milk there, JB. More than enough milk. <laughs> 